Hi, this is Tim Carmody, and I'm guest posting for Lifehacker today. Uh, I'm writing today about Zotero, which is a file management application. started out as a Firefox extension, mostly for researchers and students, but it has a lot of broad database sharing applications that can multimedia applications. It can really use to be organized any kind of files and for any kind of purpose. And so I'm going to show you something a little bit unusual. Now, I, like a lot of people, take public transit, and uh, the maps that I wind up using are usually not very helpful. They're organized under uh, a bunch of different uh, bus route numbers, and it's often really difficult for me to remember which number uh, bus I need to take in order to get to which location, especially if I'm trying to find a new route other than something I take habitually. So... What I'm doing right now is I'm actually importing the PDFs for these bus routes, I live in Philadelphia, uh, into Zotero, and I'm adding as the metadata, um, it doesn't import this directly, most typically PDFs it'll import this directly, I'm adding as the metadata just the main stops that each of the bus routes take. So for the number 42, I'm going to add in here. All these main stops, Sherbrooke Boulevard, lets me know that it goes along Pine, Spruce, Chestnut Street to Penn's Landing, Walnut Street, so and I've already done this for Route 21, Route 38, etc. So now what I can do is that if I'm trying to figure out which bus I need to take, or I know where it is I need to go, uh, instead of wandering to the SEPTA site and trying to guess which number based on just the endpoint destinations that I'm going to, I can actually log into Zotero and say, well, I need. I know that I need to go along Walnut Street. Well, the two buses I know that go along Walnut Street are the 21 and the 42. And if I know, again, that I need to go to Spruce Street as well, then I know that Walnut is then going to go to 42. So just a quick little keyword search, little organization of documents that you might not think you would wind up organizing in databases that would be used for a research application, but the annotation and the visualization uh, tools that you have built right into the application turn out to actually be really handy in a lot of other situations.